November 10th and 11th, Wednesday and Thursday, the sun is in Scorpio and the moon is in Aquarius. Another square, there's three planets in Aquarius. The moon is there, Saturn is there, and Jupiter. So just stop for a minute. This is called a stellium. We learned this in Astrology 101. Three planets in Aquarius. It kind of takes the Scorpio energy away. And what is Aquarius but detachment? Aquarius have the sensibility where they don't identify with their emotional body. It's kind of, they talk about, I think I'm angry. I think I'm feeling a little bit sad. You're like, the Scorpio goes, what do you mean? You think you're feeling sad. They can't even find the words. So this is a great couple of days, Wednesday and Thursday, with three planets in air during a Scorpio season to find your words. Three planets in Aquarius. I'm not going to let myself hold back. I'm not going to be concerned about getting swamped by emotional body. That's what happens for so many of us. Scorpios tend to identify as the one in the room that doesn't talk. They're at the party. They're watching everybody else. They find their few words and we're always like, whoa, that was good. Aquarius, on the other hand, can't stop talking. And that's the square energy when they're three signs apart. So Aquarius can't stop talking. They want to share all their internal process. They're so free. They're so non-attached. And Scorpio's like, and so inside that person, they have this desire to be quiet and to hold in and be private. And then they spill their beans and say all this stuff and they feel like they want to be the voice to tell the truth. And they live with that conflict. How many of you know the two different voices? This is what you learn in astrology. Which voice is the predominant one? But then, as an astrologer, I get to say to you, here's how you make peace. Speaking of peace, November 11th is Veterans Day. So we have to do a shout out for all those people around the world who give their life in the name of peace by fighting. Such a hard concept for an Aquarian. And... November 11th is Leonardo DiCaprio's birthday, and I want to do a shout out to him because you know my love for climate crisis. He was the, one of the first people to say, excuse me, we mustn't let that go, said Scorpio with Moon and Aquarius. And there's humanitarian efforts for us to learn what can we do to make a difference. They say compost really helps, obviously recycling, not eating meat. These are just the things they've come up with lately to begin the healing. I do believe, said Three Planets in Aquarius, that we can make it through this empath if we stay awake. Scorpio says, oh, do you have to get heavy? Okay, I'll help you. Aquarius goes, oh my God, I see the future. It's 60 miles east of here and it's all going to work out. So I want to be the voice of optimism, but I also want to ask you during Three Planets in Aquarius, study your astrology, study climate crisis, go watch Choosing Earth, study with us. Come tell me a story. I'm interested in everything you have to say. Three planets in Aquarius. How we love Aquarius, said the astrologer. It's the chance to get everybody to say, how are you different than me? How do I accept your differences? Let me ask you some questions, says Scorpio. Are you really, truly what I think you are? And then we spill our beans and we unzip and the honesty comes out Wednesday and Thursday. Ooh, Or it could be a very tense couple of days. Let's just remember Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. I really want to say that from my heart. Astrology Answers really wanted me to tell you Happy Veterans Day, November 11th. Thank you for your service and have a beautiful Wednesday and Thursday. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the four elements, my favorite topic, what your missing element is, and figure out how to get more balance in your life, just click the link in the description to grab your copy of my book, The Missing Element, today.